Mr. Chairman, I'm shocked. I am absolutely penetratively shocked. I don't think the gentlelady from Colorado has ever been shocked about anything in her life, especially this. Secondly, I look at the individuals that are offering this. Is there any shocking doubt? The same people that would vote to cut defense $177 billion, the same ones that would put homos in the military, the same ones that would not fund BRAC, the same Mr. ones Chairman. that would not clear up. Mr. No, Chairman. I will not. Sit down, you socialist. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. The gentleman yield. The committee will The be ludicrousy in order. of Mr. this Chairman. even the to appeal this. The committee will be in this. order and the gentleman will suspend. The lunacy of this. The Gentlemen EPA and other organizations have continually stated you take the shore-based and the surface-based have less problems than any of your public bases. Less than all of them put together. I've operated off these carriers. I've operated out of these. You want to take a Geiger counter? Go ahead. I scuba dive underneath the docks. I'm not going to do that if it's polluting. And the same people that would control with big government the rules and the regulations and try and diminish national security. Look at them. Just look at them right here. And the same well, people, the, the team never changes. And you want to put these burdens, and the problem is that you fail to see the solutions to very simple problems. You state your own opinion is fact when it is not. There are studies and studies and studies that show that there is no discharge that it is not regulated, but yet you we would cost the American taxpayers and lay on rules and regulations and have bigger government, more facilities, more control over the regulatory factors, and that's wrong. And I thank you, Mr. Would Chairman. Would the gentleman Mr. yield? Mr. Chairman. Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Chairman. Do we have to call the gentleman a gentleman uh, if he's not one? Mr. The committee will be in order. Mr. The Chairman. From, the gentlewoman from Colorado is recognized. Mr. And the gentleman from Vermont is right. Well, the gentleman from purpose? California, is he still here or did he disappear? For what purpose does the gentleman from Vermont I rise? I rise to speak in support of the amendment. The gentleman from Vermont I wonder if right. I the could question the gentleman from California. I am rising in support of the, the gentleman, amendment. The gentleman, the chair is in charge, the chair is speaking. The gentleman from Vermont has been recognized for a period of five minutes, and you may now proceed. I thank the chairman very much. I would like the opportunity if the gentleman from California would respond. Just to ask him a brief question, if I might. Now, my ears may have playing, been playing a trick on me, but I thought I heard the gentleman a moment ago say something, quote unquote, about homos in the military. Was I right in hearing that expression? Absolutely. Putting homosexuals in the military. You said something about homos in the military. Was the gentleman referring to the many thousands and thousands of gay people who have put their lives on the line in countless wars defending this country? I'm was talking, that the group of people that the gentleman was referring to? I'm talking about the military people in the military do not support That's not the what we were bill. talking about. You used the word homos in the military. You have insulted thousands of men and women who have put their lives on the line. I'm talking about you and liberals like you that keep the foreign defense. Gentlemen. I would Gentlemen, reclaiming my time, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen, one at a time, you may reclaim your time. You may I would proceed. also say that if my friend, in support of this amendment, if my friend from Oregon was involved in the nuclear freeze movement, I want to congratulate him. There are millions of Americans who wonder about the wisdom of spending millions and millions of more dollars building more and more nuclear weapons at the same time as the Republicans are cutting back on Medicare. Furthermore, I find it incomprehensible that at a time when the vast majority of the people in this country are terribly concerned about what's going on in the environment, terribly concerned about the environmental implications of nuclear energy, that the American people do not know what is in their waterways, and that various military installations might be exempted from federal regulatory practices. So I very much support this amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.